Now, we change income. Income's not on the axis. So the only way we can show the effect of a change in income on quantity demanded is to shift the whole curve. If it's, okay, <coughs> if the change in quantity demanded is caused by a change in the thing on the axis, which is price, it's a movement along the curve. If the change in quantity demanded is caused by anything else, something which isn't on the axis, it's a shift in the whole curve. And just to make sure that everybody carefully distinguishes movements along the curve from shifts in the curve, we even give them special names, as you said. A movement along the curve, like this, is not a change in demand. It's a change in quantity demanded. We get really picky about language here. A fall in price does not cause an increase in demand it causes an increase in quantity demanded. An increase in income is what causes a change in demand, an increase in demand. It shifts the whole curve. Each curve is a relationship between price and quantity demanded. And if you change something else, like income, you shift that whole relationship. So here, for instance, at the original price, quantity demanded increases. But at a lower price, quantity demanded also increases. Quantity demand increases for every price. This is a whole shift in the curve, a change in the whole relationship between price and quantity demanded. 